right. <laughs> so what, you were in the Navy? Is that what you were doing? I was. Yeah? yeah. How long? I wasn't in real long. Uh, they, uh, you know, I just wasn't cut out for it. I, 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 had the, I, I had the wrong mouth for it. I stayed in trouble. I didn't, you know, I just I did a lot of drugs. And, you know, I just I was horrible out. And I, they discharged me with an honorable discharge under medical conditions from the Naval Drug Rehabilitation Center in Miramar, California. Oh, wow. So what did, what did you have to get rehabilitated for? Well, I had actually never seen drugs till I got to the Naval <laughs> Drug Rehabilitation Center in Miramar, California. I mean, everybody had drugs. It was, you know, I was positive for heroin on a Westpac, but so were eight other people on the ship. And and uh, and uh, then when we ate a ton of acid, and you know, it was seventy five, and I was eighteen years old, and I was off the hook, wild, and uh, and you know, they just I, actually. <laughs> in my in my hearing uh, to get me out, the 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 uh, commander of our base called me a hole in our national line of defense. <laughs> I'm like, God, that's horrible. What <laughs> what's worse than that? I wonder. Nothing. That seems a little exaggerating. Yeah, like, <laughs> like I remember on, we're playing Red Rover. You know, <laughs> relax. <laughs> yeah, a hole in our national line defense. Yeah. We weren't even at war in '75, right? Wasn't that yeah, Vietnam? tail end of the Vietnam mm. War? Yeah. Wow. Did you join or did you get drafted? No, there was no draft when I, my father drafted me. I got kicked out of high school, and uh, mm. and and they weren't going to put me back in this time. And so, I was 17, and I kind of had my life mapped out because I worked washing dishes at this uh, huge restaurant called Lynchburg Crossing in uh close to pasadena texas and right on the channel gigantic place unbelievable and served uh, family style all kinds of seafood and chicken and stuff it was really popular but they didn't have they didn't go hire uh people to uh, wash dishes they would go bail these drunks out of jail and they had bunk houses in the back and the dishwashers would sleep back there they'd drink all the half drinks that came back and crash there so i really at 17 years old i was thinking well I could, uh, when I'm 17, I could join the, or 16, I, I, could jo I could join the Merchant Marines at 17, which was wrong. And uh, and then I worked there until I retire, and then I go wash dishes until uh, I die in that <laughs> bunk house. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Like the old drunk that used to roll his joints. We couldn't roll his joints very good, and this guy could, and we came in there one day just dead as he could be. Isn't it funny when you, he was dead? Dead. Who, of? D <laughs> cirrhosis, I mean, these guys were bad. <laughs> I mean, bad booze hounds, but, you know, pretty good dishwashers. Isn't it funny when you look back in your life and getting kicked out of high school, all the trouble you were in, getting kicked out of the Navy, getting blown by a bunch of dudes accidentally? It's all the recipes of being a great comic, but nobody ever looks at it that way. <laughs> right, yeah. That, you don't have some of that stuff in there. What are you going to write about? You know? yeah, well, you, yeah. that's, I mean, it's almost like you have to come up to everybody who's a fuck up and go, look, I know you're not fitting in here, but there's yeah. a place where you do. <laughs> right. Like, there's you a place where you do. figure it out. There's a, there's a fucking whole clan of us. Yeah. You just got to gotta figure out how to do it. I'm telling you, Joe, the first time I walked on stage, I, I literally, I went to myself, I'm a, f I'm a fucking comedian. <laughs> Why didn't somebody tell me? I could have <laughs> avoided a bunch of that other stuff and just started. I was 29 when I figured it out. You I know? was 21. Same feeling. Oh. So right after I did it, I was like, this is it. I yep. found it. This is yeah, it. This, this is the one that works. Yeah. I mean, I wasn't good. I knew I wasn't good. I knew I was like, there's a lot of work to be done. But I'm like, this could be my job. I can oh, do I this. didn't think I'd ever do it professionally or anything like that. I just knew I was a comic. You know, I knew I was a comedian. And, uh, but I never ever saw all this fame and fortune shit coming. I mean, I never really sat around asking the universe for it. I never thought it would happen. Even though I watched it happen to Foxworthy, you know, he biggest selling comic of all time uh, by a lot. Uh, so more records than Pryor and Cosby combined. And uh, he blew up standing right next to me, but I never gave it one second of thought that it would happen to me. Well, when the blue collar tour kicked off and then and then it took off for you, how old were you? Uh, I was, let's see, probably 45 or so, 45 or 46. So you're just working as a comic up until 45 and then boom. Right, 16 years, clubs, 50 weeks a year, uh, doing nine shows a week, So, which is how you get good at this. You know, that's that's the best way to do it, not not here, out there, working, on, you know, different crowds. And, and then uh, Jeff, you know, signed me up for this thing. And uh, first time I heard the idea, I told him, that's retarded. 
That's, a, <laughs> that's, how, that's how smart I am. <laughs> and um, the, uh, the the whole clincher to my career is Warner Brothers decided to make a movie out of that thing. And uh, and I didn't even see that. I mean, I had a, yeah, Warner Brothers going to make a movie out of it. And Kathleen Madigan's falling out of her chair. They're going, she, what? I'm like, yeah, that's what they said. But I had no idea what that meant. You know, I don't know. I'm an idiot from Northwest Texas. So I'm like, it sounds good. <laughs> but uh, then it, you know, it, did, it for some reason it just tested. It was really well liked across the board, and uh, and uh, and then and it was one of the biggest selling comedy albums of all time for DVDs, four million copies. Well, it was giant. I remember and, when it came out. It was just one of those things like, whoa, nobody ever did that before. Nobody ever put together a bunch of killers and then did a movie. Well, they actually, the Kings of Comedy did. They and did we, it first? Yeah, we totally ripped off the black man again, mm. you know. God damn it, Ron White. The, uh, but, you know, it was a, you know just a, a blue-collar uh, shot at it. Not necessarily, you know, redneck, but, but, you know, just people that work for a living. They lots who likes us, you know. <laughs> 